See Lindelof videos evaluating definite integrals with your TI Inspire CAS. I'm trying to make this the shortest video in the history of the Earth, so I'm going to try to do this really quickly. One thing I want to say as we move on that's really important to me is that please do not assume that definite integrals equal area. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You need to look at a picture of it, or you need to make sure you set it up to be area if that's what you're looking for, but you cannot assume that necessarily. Um, here's an example. Here, here's an example. I'm given the equation. I'm given this equation. I'm given the equation uh, f of x is equal to 2x. So what I want is I want the calculus. So I went to my menu. I went to calculus, went over to integral. This is my lower limit. The lower limit I want is negative 2, negative 2 to 1. Remember, the, the lower limit should be lower than the upper limit, obviously. So negative 2 is lower than 1, so this is making sense. I'm just going to put in 2x. The variable of integration is x, therefore I need to put that variable of integration in as x here. If you don't, it will just come back as 0, and you won't know what happens. So if you're integrating in terms of t, make sure that your function is in terms of t and that your variable of integration is in terms of t also. So, so far, this is all I actually did was this and I got negative 3. If you look at a picture of what this looks like, you can see that this is not the, this is not the area. And first off, it's negative. So it doesn't represent the area of the region that would be shown here. So that's really, really important to know. Really, really important to know that you can't assume that. Let's do a couple other ones really quickly. Um, how about 4dx, 1 to 3? So I'd go to, remember, just go to menu, go to calculus, go to integral, Put in your upper and lower limits. So my lower limit here is 1. My upper limit is 3. And I have 4 dx. 4 dx is the same as y is equal to 4. So this is actually a perfect rectangle uh, that, has a, that has a base of 2, right? The distance between the, the whole distance covered it is 2. So hopefully, well, let's see what we get. Um, hopefully this is what you expect. 8, isn't it? And if you look at a picture of this, the height of this thing is always 4. And you're going from 1 to 3, which is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. In this case, we do have area, but we, can't, we couldn't assume that on every single one. I guess I'll do one more. Let me do one more. Same thing. Menu, calculus, integral, lower limit, upper limit. So the lower limit is going to be negative 2 in this case. The upper limit is 2. 2. And what I want here is this one is a little bit more exciting. It's a polynomial that's x plus 2. In parentheses, please, dx. So my variable of integration is x. This x and this x match, so that's going to work. And we get 8 again. So not very interesting. Um, so that's what I have for you. Hope this is helpful. One thing I want to tell you that Look what happens if you switch this, and this is something I'll let you do on your own, but go back here and substitute the lower and upper bounds and see what happens. See if you still get negative 3 back or if you get something different, and it's a really, really important conclusion to come to. So I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.